Okay, welcome to this short tutorial on some new things that are rolling out in Buzz, end of June 2017. Um, what I want to do is just log in and walk you through a couple of things that are different. And so first off, um, we have the four applications. You can use Buzz as an admin, as a teacher, observer, student. So we're going to go into an admin first. And as we move into the admin, one of the new things you're going to notice in the June release is that we've updated the menus. And so I can switch between those applications. I can also switch between my subdomains in here. And then I can also obviously move through my material that I would normally see in the admin panel. However, having said that, what we really want to focus on is the quick nav. And you'll notice that it's under find. And you can also hit F1, which is fantastic because now I can connect this to um, keyboard macros, speech recognition engines like Dragon Naturally Speaking. There's some really cool things we can do. If I hit F1, you're going to see that this allows me to really navigate anywhere in the application within just a couple of clicks. It's a phenomenal way of moving around. Uh, really meant for power users, but can be really used by anyone. And it's just a fantastic way to do it. You'll notice that the items on this list um, look very much like the items on the menu. And so that's how we fill this list is through items in the menu. So let's go through and do a couple of things. So I'm going to come in. The first thing I'm going to do is look for a domain. So I can either click on that or I can just say dollar sign. And you'll see it starts to list all the domains and subdomains I have access to. And so I can simply come in and go directly to that subdomain. And you can see I've moved to the Webster Academy. Now, I could have done the same thing by going through the menus and navigating this direction. But as you'll see soon, the ability to use this quick nav is really just phenomenal. Let's do a couple of other ones. So in this case, if I came in here and I said, I'm looking for a user. So I could say at sign space and you'll, you can start seeing the users in this domain. I'll just type in Jenica. And if I click on Jenica, now not only can I find her, but I can go to very specific things regarding Jenica. So for instance, I just go to the details and it will pop me right there. Now, in this case, I know I've got a few other Jenicas scattered around through my domains. And so the beauty of doing this is I can, you can see now I'm acting here. If I delete that, it's going to take me back to the Maple Street subdomain. And this time if I say at Jenica, but I come back and actually put an exclamation point. Now it's going to start looking for all of the Jenicas it can find across all the subdomains I have permissions to. And it will tell me where they sit in here. So I can now look for the Jenica Roberts that's in the Webster Academy. So I can click on that very easily. And then I can choose, for instance, enrollments and jump right to the enrollments that she has. And so, again, very straightforward in how I move around and find things. If I come back up and hit F1 again or hit the search, you'll notice now that if I hit the delete key, I'm now moved to the Webster Academy. I used to be in Maple, but since I found Jenica in Webster, it's moved me up to Webster. So now that I'm in Webster, let's look at a course. So I can start and you know just with an at sign and you'll see that it lists all the courses. If I look for geometry, I can go ahead and click on geometry. I can pull up the details for geometry and I'm sitting right here. Now I could have found that in the menu and found the geometry and you can see that I have activities and gradebook and people and editor. But as you know, deeper underneath editor are options as well as deeper under gradebook are options. And so again, the quick nav goes a little bit deeper so I could actually come in here and it knows that I'm still looking at geometry because it remembers that. But now you can see from an editor standpoint, I can go to the syllabus, I can go to the projects page, I can go to the landing page. I can really bounce wherever I need to go and it will take me directly to that, that tool inside the, the application. So again, one or two clicks and I can be anywhere in that environment. And if I backtrack, it's simply going to take me back to where I was before. If we look one more time, you can delete that. You can also look by any kind of ID in the system. So if I simply start with a pound and space and then I put in an ID. So in this case, I'm going to put in one of the IDs that I know exists in my domain. You're going to see that the system is smart enough to realize, and I'm going to do a control enter to accept it, that this was actually a role. So it was an ID of a parent role. 
And if I click on it, it's going to take me there. And sure enough, the role sits there. So when you look up an ID for a user or a course or a domain or an item, all of that is going to simply be found regardless of where it is based upon the quick nav. So again, very, very efficient way to move around. If I wanted to, I could now simply type in the word teacher and I could flip to use as a teacher. Now I'm over on the teacher app and I'm ready to go. So some really fascinating ways to move around inside the system. I'm going to log out of this user and I'm going to log in with a different user that has less permissions. And let's take another look. So this teacher has a PD course that they're involved with and are teaching a course. So if I go into the teacher app, you'll see that inside here I've got two courses I'm teaching. And if I hit F1 again, you'll notice now that I have a few less things because I don't have the admin tool, but I still can get at anything in the menu as well as the courses that I'm associated with. So if I go to the geometry course, you can see that I then can quick jump to any of the editors, the gradebook, the people page, reports page, right from here. I can also look up users that are inside my enrollment. So I could say at geometry and which student do I want? And again, I could say Jenica. And when I click on Jenica, it says, what do I want to see? And I want to see what badges Jenica has. And so it's just a very efficient shortcut method of again, getting anywhere in the tool. It's a fantastic way to navigate around. And so teachers have that ability. If I came back in, I could also look in the geometry course for an activity and you'll see that it loads it up. And if I wanted to say, hey, do I have anything on compasses in here? Sure enough, I've got one right there. So I can go ahead and click on it and view and it will jump me right to that course. So um, anything in the course that's there, I can find through the quick nav and I'm there. So extremely efficient method of moving around. I'm going to log out one more time. And the final one here, I'm going to come in as a student. Guess what? Students have the same access. And so as a student, um, you can see the home page, um, how I'm doing on my courses, percentages, current scores, progress. Um, but if I hit the good old F1 key, I can now grab any menu inside the system, change my passwords, look at my settings. Um, look at my grades if I wanted to. I just type in grades or click on it. Boom, I go to my grade page. Um, I can navigate down into the geometry course if I want to. I can look at things and I could say to myself, well, I'm still interested in searching something in the geometry course. So I could use the lookup command and say, what do I have? Um, do I have any quizzes in here? Sure enough, here come some quizzes and I can go ahead and choose one of those and immediately jump right to it. So the student has the benefit of also being able to move around really quickly using the quick nav. So that's a, a quick tutorial of how that nav works. Um, great thing that it's connected to F1. So you can use macros to fire that up, speech recognition to fire it up. And it has purposeful use inside um, the student application, the teacher application, and certainly the admin application. Hope you enjoy it.